Hello, and welcome to my channel. I'm Mandy Grace, author of 10 young adult novels so far, 8 of which I'm rewriting this year. Welcome to vlog 10 of that adventure. If you have been keeping up with the first nine vlogs, you might notice that this is a slightly different background than normal. Uh, that's because I'm at the farm this weekend and I hadn't, you know, filmed my intro yet while I was at home and I didn't want to wait till I got back home, so here we are. I was on a program this morning. We wrote only about 950 words, um, which I realized was kind of a lot of words, but like it's a, it's a, it's a small amount for me. Um, not like tiny amount. Now I'm over explaining things, but anyway. Um, yeah, it, an average amount for me is like just over the cusp of a thousand words. So anything under a thousand words is a slightly smaller writing amount for me. I mean, 950 is close enough to a thousand that it's not a bad writing day. It's a decent day. Anyway, we'll stop over explaining my word counts now. Point is, I've moved slightly away from expanding on the narration and dialogue in the original version of book two of the Robin Hood series because today we were working on just brand new scenes that have never been seen before. Uh, it's really <laughs> really adding to the idea that this book will be twice as big the same way book one was twice as big after I rewrote it. I thought this book wouldn't be but as we keep going along I become more convinced that it will be and it just blows my mind. But anyway, um, in the original book, there's a little paragraph of like, we traveled to England after breaking out of prison. Yay. Um, and I, w I came to that this past week and was just baffled that that happened. Because we just broke out of pit prison. Like, we have no money, we have no food, we have nothing. No weapons, nothing. We d I don't know where to go, we don't have help, we've got nothing. Like, how did we just easily travel across Europe and get back to England. It makes no sense whatsoever. So what I'm doing instead is exploring that adventure home and like stealing things, sweet talking people into helping us, various things until we get home. So I started that adventure, 950 words into it. Don't know how big it will be, how many chapters I'm adding. Who knows? And then after we get back to England, we will go back to the transferring of scenes and words that are still relevant, unless I'm cutting them. So there you go. Man, we had a big writing day yesterday. Um, we wrote almost 7,000 words. I uh, actually did the math twice because the first time I did it, it was over 7,000, and the second time I did it, it was significantly less than that, and then I was confused, and math is hard, folks. But anyway, um... <laughs> I wrote somewhere around 7,000 words yesterday uh, and finished off two chapters that were mostly written. Actually what it was is I had one chapter because I was pulling over for much of the original story and then sprucing it up, uh, but then it was so ridiculously much that I chopped it into two chapters. So that's what happened. Yes, we did get back to England. Um, I am going to be writing the scene where Robin actually frees Much and is like, okay, you're not my servant anymore, be a free man. Um, which Much, despite the fact that he spent this whole story like wanting to be treated as equal, is kind of going to freak out about it and be like, oh no, how do I operate on my own? I don't, this doesn't, you're supposed to tell me what to do. Like, everything I do is you tell me what to do. Like, that's how this works. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what I'm going to be writing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's really funny. I, uh, yeah, I was getting on and I was like, man, I just, I'm tired. I'm going to be cozy today. So I just, I'm, I'm like literally under the blankets as well. I, I don't, I'm just. <laughs> we, <laughs> the crazy people have made it back to England. Um, and we're getting ready to set up the whole Robin Hood storyline. Um, so we're about to become outlaws and start, you know, stealing and, and you know, doing Robin Hood things. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> that's where we're at in the story. I don't know. We just, um, my main character just got introduced to the main antagonist for this half of the story. 
and he's kind of terrified, so that's fun. I am going to be writing. Um, my little band of individuals have made it to England, and we're about to start the whole Sherwood adventures, so it's going to be interesting. Um, I am debating how much I'm going to put in book two, because it's the same story, but it's from a different character's perspective, and not all the scenes will be relevant to the main character of book two, so I've been, I've been doing a lot of just like reading this morning of the various scenes and trying to decide like what will be relevant to my character, and then also brainstorming scenes that aren't in book one that will be in book two for Much's story, so that's kind of where I'm at. It's not too bad because I did, I did all of this thinking, you know, 10 years ago when I wrote the original version, so I'm just sort of like revisiting it and like, you know, I feel like I've been here before, so every, like when I start thinking about it, my brain is like, oh yeah. <laughs> we have crested 62,000 words today. The original document is just 60, 6900, I think, or something like that. So, uh, yep, we have <laughs> passed the original workout now. Let's see how far we go, I guess. Um, there's another prickle tonight, which I'm planning on jumping on, even though I'm getting very sleepy. Uh... Was there anything else I needed to say? I don't know. Oh, I've added another book to the whole experience. So I've been reading The Original Always in Shadow. Wow, that was a weird way to say that. The Original Always in Shadow. And I've been reading the original book three and original book four all together um, and picking and choosing scenes for the new Always in Shadow, which won't be called that when it's republished. <sighs> but now that we have made it to England to the Sherwood Adventures, I also have the new version of book one open as well. I didn't open the old version because obviously it may or may not be relevant still. So I opened the new version. But anyway, the point is I have four books that I'm flipping between as I'm picking scenes for the new one. It's a little bit chaotic. It's a lot, okay? It's just a lot. Uh, we had some had um, some raids and things, but a lot of it was uh, very, like, narration heavy. Um, so I actually want to go back and look and see if I can put some scenes there. Because in the original book, too, most of the early stuff that happens in the Sherwood stuff is just summarized in book two. So... Like, if you've read book one, you know what I'm referring to, but if you pick up book two to start with, because they're companion novels, technically you could read them in any order you wanted to, I feel like we need to have at least, like, one or two things happen that the reader sees before I'm like, <laughs> there were raids. <laughs> so I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna be looking at that and seeing what I can do with much. And I'm, I'm thinking I'll probably do a different sort of scenario than one that's in book one but like still something the reader can see. Yeah, absolutely. So I am currently rewriting a uh, retelling of The Legend of Robin Hood that I wrote roughly 10 years ago, um, and I'm rewriting them and republishing them this year. I um, am going to be diving into a, f a fair today. There's um, a harvest festival happening. Um, and I'm not sure what my characters are going to be doing during this fair. Um, we have a lot of fond memories from our childhood from this fair. Um, so maybe we'll dive into some of that. I don't know. My, our, our best friend's love interest is hanging out at the fair with some other guy. So we might be comforting him. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Okay, well, uh, it's Friday, which makes me feel like we've come to the end of vlog 10. Um, I don't really have a firm grasp on how much I accomplished this week or even what I did this week. I know I was writing, but like, I just, it all blurs together this week and I really don't know how much I did or did not do. I have no idea. Maybe you know, because <laughs> you've been watching this video. I'll know as soon as I start editing it, I suppose. Um, currently we are sitting at, actually I should look before I just give you a random number. Uh, <laughs> tools. Word count. We are sitting at 65,620 words. Um, we are in the Sherwood Adventures. Things are happening. Um, I've been playing with reading all 
the books now because they all involve Sher Sherwood um, and that includes the new version of Lucy's Legend. Reading all the books now um, to decide what's relevant to Much, my main character of book two. Cutting a lot of the scenes from the other books because I just want what's relevant to Much and his growth and the journey that he's going on. Um, there are certain things like the death of a main character that is going to be in every single book because it will affect everyone in different ways. But um, the various raids and rescues that they go on don't need to be in every single book. I can pick a different raid or a different rescue where different things happen in the different books because, you know, the characters are going through different things so different uh, experiences will stick out to them more than the other people that they went through this journey with. Anyway, that's what I've been doing with Much. So trying to navigate the Sherwood Adventures requires reading five books deciding if those scenes are ones I want to use, and then, if they are or are not, rewriting them, or coming up with brainstorming, outlining, and then writing brand new scenes. So it's been a lot. It's been a lot. And I, it feels slow. But I don't know that it is necessarily. It just, it feels slow. I don't know. I'm also getting very excited to get into Dusty and Alan, book three and book four, because I've been reading them alongside book two this whole time, but I haven't been able to fix them yet, and I'm really excited to do so. I have so many ideas. Very excited. And obviously I'm excited about getting to book five eventually because it's my favorite. <laughs> but that one I'm less impatient for because um, I don't feel like there will be a lot for me to do with it. You know, I'm just excited to read it again. So anyway, um, yeah. Thanks for watching. If you made it this far through the vlog, hopefully I will see you back for vlog 11 as we continue writing book two in my Robin Hood series. It's spring break, so vlog 11 will be spring break, which kind of hopefully means I'll write more, but I'm going on a trip at the beginning of the week and a different trip at the end of the week, so how much writing I will actually get done during this week is debatable. Hello. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> that was that was rough. Scooch. Well, maybe not. Mm. I'm still going to have to open. Never mind. I'm just thinking aloud now.